Hi, I'm Caroline. Welcome to FYI Newsbyte. Here's what we found for your information this lunchtime. Detectives in Cork are expected to officially launch a murder investigation today following the fatal shooting of a 37-year-old man in Carrigaline. A post-mortem will be carried out later on the victim, named locally as Darren Falsey. His body was discovered by his partner at their rented home in Ashburn Court yesterday afternoon. Looking for answers, police in Australia are searching for a man who attached a fake bomb to a teenager's neck in a possible extortion attempt. 18-year-old Madeleine Pulver, who's from a wealthy family, says a man in a balaclava broke into her home in Sydney and strapped the device to her. She was freed after 10 hours. The device was found to contain no explosives, but was described by police as a very elaborate hoax. I can tell you that we as parents are extraordinarily proud of Maddie. Uh, I can, she has woken up this morning in pretty good spirits. She's a little tired, a little sore from holding this damn device in place for about 10 hours. But uh, she is now, as we are, eager for her to get on with her life. Tragedy in Indonesia. A helicopter chartered by an Australian mining company slammed into a mountain in the east of the country, killing all 10 passengers and crew. The aircraft was a Bell 412, carrying two Australians, two South Africans and six Indonesians. There was only one survivor at the scene, an Indonesian who later died of his injuries in hospital. Another day, another alleged phone hacking victim, Heather Mills, has claimed that a journalist from the Daily Mirror admitted hacking into her phone when she was in a relationship with Paul McCartney. The 43-year-old says in 2001, the journalist told her he had listened to a message left by the former Beatle on her voicemail, but backed down from printing the details when she threatened to go to the police. If proved, it would mean newspapers other than the News of the World were involved in the practice. Happy birthday, Mr. President. That's right, Barack Obama turns the big 5-0 today. He celebrated a bit prematurely yesterday, taking some of his staffers out to lunch in Washington. They stopped by the Good Stuff Eatery, where the president said he's a very simple man and ordered a well-done cheddar cheeseburger and fries. Mr. Obama then paid for the meals of some of those around him. What a guy. And finally, ready to go home, the Emperor Penguin found on a beach in New Zealand, who's since become an internet sensation, is now ready to be returned to the wild. Happy Feet has been receiving medical and nutritional care after he was found on a beach six weeks ago. He's now gained weight and has been given a clean bill of health to be returned to the ocean. It's expected thousands will follow his progress home through a GPS tracker which will be mapped online. FYI is interactive. From your opinions to news you think we should be covering, we want to hear it all. FYI is available to you 24-7 online for all the information you need to know. Simply log on to tb3.ie forward slash 3e forward slash FYI. Here you'll find the latest stories, video catch-ups, comments and the FYI blog. We're also available to you on Twitter and Facebook. Just log on to the website and hit the social networking shortcuts. Time now for a look at the funniest clips on the web. Here's our top five. At number five, a premature acceleration. Sometimes being first doesn't mean you're the winner. At number four, with a face like this, how could anyone stay mad? At number three, eating off the floor is so degrading. Newsflash kitty, this isn't much better. At number two, when joining in on celebrations, make sure the crowd is still gathered. And number one today, don't try this at home, kids. Let your dad test it out first. <laughs> Tune in to FYI later for the newest downloads. We'll have more on the top stories, plus catch up on today's tech news with Cassie. And Paul will be here with all the sports. We'll see you back here at six, right here on 3E. Yeah.